Zip it. You really get it. Zip it. I am in the zone, okay? <laughs> Welcome to Part of the Process, a new digital series that sees us, the Rahajan sisters, explore the sustainable fashion process, from the plantation, to renewable fiber, to fashion. Hey guys, what's up? Good morning. I literally just turned off my alarm clock. It's 4 a.m. in the morning. I have not gotten a lot of sleep at all but we gotta get going. We gotta pack our bags because our flight to Karinchi is in just a few hours. Um, very tired, but also very excited. Okay guys, we're in the car. We are off to the airport. That is taking we have us. our dad, it's very kind of him. Finally here, welcome to Pangkalan Kerinci. This place is incredible. This purpose-built site just on the edge of Pangkalan Kerinci is shared together with over 10,000 people. Employees and their families call this place home. It has schools, medical facilities, a sports center, food courts, a hotel, and even a golf course. Just half a mile away is the town of Pangkalan Kerinci. Originally, it was just a small village with only 200 homes. Now, unbelievably, this community has grown to over 100,000 people, many of whom work within the APR complex shared with their sister company, April Group. But now let's start right at the beginning, the place where the whole process commences. You know what they say, everything starts with a seed. Welcome to the nursery! This is one of four nurseries of its kind, all in all nurturing 200 million seedlings every single year. This nursery is managed by sister company April Group, the supplier of Asia Pacific Rayon's Viscos, and what an incredible sight! The employees here are highly skilled. Each person can cut and prune up to 2,500 seedlings a day. Wow, that's a lot of seedlings. Okay, let's go and talk to the person who is in charge of this entire operation. This is Kosa Andrian, and he's the nursery manager. Here, he explains how this process unfolds. Nursery adalah pondasi atau dasar bagi kelangsungan usaha perusahaan. Di nursery, bibit itu diperlakukan seperti anak bayi. Jadi kalau bayi ini membutuhkan perlakuan ekstra dan juga harus uh, lembut. Di antara wanita dan pria, wanita lah yang paling pas seperti untuk... Seperti itu ya? Iya. Nah, saya juga pengen tahu nih rahasianya apa sih Pak agar bisa mengelola nursery sehat? Nah, jadi uh, saya mengimplementasikan 3C. C yang pertama itu adalah clarity. C yang kedua itu adalah capability. C yang ketiga itu adalah comfort. Uh, perawatan bibit di nursery, prosesnya seperti apa? Boleh kita lihat nggak? Boleh, daripada penasaran, <laughs> baik kita keliling langsung. Benar. Baik, silakan. Yuk. Jadi teknik perbanyakan produksi kita adalah menggunakan stek pucuk. Dan semua berasal dari suit ini. Yang bagian terlalu muda kita buang. Yang cuk sedang kita ambil, baik. Yang terbaik ya. Yang terbaiknya, kemudian ini kita kurangi luasan daunnya untuk mengurangi penguapan, maka ini menjadi cutting. Nah, inilah dia. So Maria, if you've ever wondered where your clothes come from, it starts right here. Semua dimulai dari sini, luar Betul biasa. Sekali. That is absolutely fascinating. Buat lobang-lobang. Each worker cuts thousands of seedlings per day. And make no mistake, there is an art to this. And it looks quite therapeutic. So how hard could cutting a few hundred be? Cut. 
Oh my god, how many more to go? About 293. Are you serious? My hands are getting tired. You know what? I'm so tired of your complaining. How about less talking and more working? Okay, zip it. I am in the zone. So day two in Grinchi, how are you feeling? I just got a message from Cosa Andrian and he said that I cut exactly 214 seedlings to your 86. First of all, fake news. Second of all, I didn't realize this was a competition. It's called Facts and I just wanted to share with you some very important information. I'm sure you did, but let's just move along, shall we? Anyways, where are we off to today? The next part of the process is the plantation. This is the plantation where 9,000 workers plant, monitor, and check 480,000 hectares of planted seedlings, which eventually blossom into trees. In the fifth year, these trees will be harvested and the land will be replanted again with new seedlings. It's important to know that APR adopt the principle of no deforestation and only source wood fiber from sustainably managed plantations and forests and only source raw material from renewable plantations. Let's meet someone who can tell us more. This is Sabar Siregar, and he is the envy of all tree lovers as he is the manager of Tree Improvement. What does that entail? Well, that's what we're here to find out. To make the trees healthy, it's actually the first step is that you choose the best clones or genetics adapted to the, the site. The biggest challenge is actually how to really uh, match the clones to the site because we, we are managing such a huge area. So the variation of the soil, the site is also big. It's not a, a one day job, it's a continuous because a selection, genetic selection, for example, from one seed to have a good clone selected, usually it takes uh, like 12 years. Yeah. That is well, a process. 12 years. Yeah. But we have now technology how to speed it up. So we can cut it short from 12 to 6 years. Our focus is to grow. Each single tree we planted on the ground should be standing there until 5 years so that we can get the fiber from each individual tree. Now we are utilizing more digital transformations and more development in the mechanized plantation operations. So the generations are changing. What you are looking at is actually not a tree, it's a fiber. Wow. It's, a, it's a growing fiber. After five years, we are going to harvest it and then it will be, become pulp, paper yeah. and rayon. And speaking of trees, what type of trees do you grow here? Actually, we have two types, main types, uh, two species, eucalyptus and acacia. For the benefit of people watching at home, this is the Rahadrim Sisters Guide to Acacia versus Eucalyptus. The acacia tree has over 1,000 different species. They are elegant in look and tend to grow in tropical climates, like here in Indonesia. They grow quickly too and often stretch between 20 and 40 feet in just a few short years. The acacia is one of the most durable woods, good for furniture as it resists water and it hardly ever scratches. The eucalyptus tree has around 300 different species. It's also a distinctively beautiful tree and is famous for its multi-hued bark. The eucalyptus tree also has healing qualities. It's antibacterial and can act as a natural decongestant. Thanks, Sabar. I think I need to lie down after all that information. I get the feeling I'll be seeing trees in my sleep tonight. Next up and part of the process, we visit one of APR and April's huge conservation projects. 